नाम मरिया सो टुडे आई एम हियर टू टेल यू अबाउट फेबल्स व्हाट इज फेबल्स यस फेबल्स टेल अस अ स्टोरी एंड टीच अस अ लेसन एट द सेम टाइम आई वी बीन हियरिंग रीटेलिंग एंड राइटिंग देयर फॉर ओवर 2000 इयर्स देन व्हाट इज मिथ मिथ इज एन एंशिएंट स्टोरी और सेट ऑफ स्टोरीज स्पेशली एक्सप्लेनिंग इन अ लिटरेरी वे लेजेंड इज अ वेरी ओल्ड स्टोरी और सेट ऑफ स्टोरीज व्हिच पीपल टेल अबाउट अ फेमस इवेंट और अ पर्सन दैट आर नॉट ऑलवेज ट्रू then lore lore is the traditional knowledge and story about a subject fairy tale or fairy story is a traditional story written for children which usually involves imaginary creatures and magic others are folk tale and folklore folk tale is a story that parents pass on to their children or little tales my parents also pass it to me the traditional stories of a country community and group of people is called folklore there are so many ancient fables and new also here some of my friends waiting to share the fables so let's hear them hi everyone i am meghna jasinda from 7p today i'm standing before you to tell a story named a daydreamer so let's go to video in a village there lived a beautiful woman who earned a living by selling milk One day she was going to market drink the milk pot on her head I shall save money by selling this milk she thought With the money saved for a month I can buy a cow by selling the milk of the cow I will buy more cows and so I will become rich I shall buy more dress and ornaments I shall construct a big and beautiful house As a beauty other will come to me my neighbors will come to me but i will not mind them when thoughts like this entered her mind she could not control herself she jumped with joy till the milk pot fell down all the milk was lost and she woke up from her daydream more Dreams cannot be fulfilled without hard work. Thank you. Hello guys, I'm Flomena Sonanti Silva. I'm studying in Saint Isaac's Cathedral at Nanyang in 7th standard. So now I would like to share one thing that is so funny. As we know that we have started a fable festival. The fable festival means when we read a story, when we heard any type of stories, when our parents tell story to us, that are called the fable festival. In back time my parents tell many stories to me. I like that all stories. They tell some emotional stories, some funny stories, some happy stories and some sad stories. But I like only funny stories. So now I will share a funny story to you. Then go and tell the story includes some moral also and the moral will thoroughly understand to you. The title of the story is The Clever Fox and the Foolish Goat. So now I will share the funny story to you. The clever fox and the foolish goat. A fox once fell into a well. He could not get out again. So he called out to a goat who was just passing by. The water is very good over here. Come and have a drink. So the fox, the goat who was rather silly, very happy, without thinking anything, the goat slipped into a well. When the goat had had a good drink, he asked the fox. How shall we go out? If you stand on your hind legs, I shall climb up your forehead and go out. He ran away saying, "You should have thought of the way out before you came in." Hey, wait! Here is the moral of the story. Moral: Look before you leap. So I hope you love the story very much. Thank you and have a good day. Hi, friends. Myself, Mary Emma Insari Silva. Today I'm here with my English text and note of lesson tales and tunes. This lesson is full of Aesop fables. Our English teacher Jia Sister Narendra had given us many activities. So now let's see those activities through my English text and note. Unit 2 Tales and Tunes. These are some Aesop fables. These are some textual activities. Keep your eyes open is an ease of fable. Picture reading. This is an activity in the tales and tunes.
This is the story of the three little pigs and the big bad bull. The story of the lion and the mouse. Thank you. Did you enjoy my English text and note? Hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you. You want to answer. Mark all past tense, present tense, and continuous tense. And also answer this question. Here we can see a short description about a fable. Mark the page and answer this question. Coming to the next page, here we should need to answer all the activities well and also can see a short sentence about proverb. This is a story. Keep your eyes open. You want to mark the page. This is the first activity. Here we can see the essential elements of the story. It gives more knowledge about the story. Next, we want to write some activities. Now, we can go through the English notebook. Here, I draw some pictures based on some stories and also wrote the name of the unit. Here we should need to write about stories. It is in textbook and we should need to write some questions from page number 36 and also write the questions too. After all, we should need to write our favorite story. So here I wrote an animal story. The lamp and the wolf. It's an industry story and yes, in time of direct need, clever thinking is key. Find out the main idea from page number 36. We should need to write about a song, a short sentence about a fable, and also answer this question. Write the past tense and present tense and continuous tense, and also write opposites. Next, we want to write some activities. Is a new story. Keep your eyes open. Write the past tense, present tense, and continuous tense, and also write new words and opposites. Next, we want to write some activities.
internally and then study before you to present my English notebook and textbook based on our chapter 2 tales and things. First of all, I am thanking to our English teacher sister Nandana to do the activities in very systematic way. So let's have a look on it. Unit 2 Tales and Tunes The first page of the Unit 2 Tales and Tunes Here are given some questions based on this chapter. And I have given colors to various tense like past tense, present tense and continuous tense. Here are given some activities that based on our chapter. Keep your eyes open. Here is given a short story and I have marked past tense, present tense and continuous tense. Activity 1 Here are given some essential aspects of the story. They are beginning, development, something happens, things to come and end, conclusion. Here is given a few beginnings of the story. Activity 2 Here are two different endings and we want to find more endings in the space provided. Activity 3 Activity 4 Beginning of the story is given in here. And we want to write the story. We want to complete the story. Activity 5 Here a story is given in a jumbled order. We want to rewrite the story in the correct sequence. This is a story about three little things. And I wrote the story in correct sequence. Activity 6 A few story is given below. We want to complete the story. The last activity in the textbook. Activity 7 Here is the beginning of the story is given. And we want to fill the bubbles and frame of the story. That's all for the textbook. Here are few questions that based on our chapter tales and tunes. Here is the activity that we want to write story. So, I wrote a story in the next page. And the story's name is Snowflakes. About Aesop. Here I wrote past tense, present tense and continuous tense. And in the next page, I wrote opposites and new words. Of the story, tales and tunes. Activity 1. Here are given some proverbs and sayings. And we want to write the moral of the story. And we want to match each of the proverbs on the left with its meaning on the right. Here we want to match morals that they convey. What is proverb? Essential elements of the story. A few beginnings of the story. Few beginnings of the story that I wrote. Activity 2. We want to write different endings of the story. Good morning to one and all. My name is Pallavi Suresh. I am studying in St. Teresa CG HSS School, Ernakulam. Today I am showing my test book and notebook of unit tales and tunes. Let's see. See my test book. Unit 2 Tales and Tunes. Here a small story of Vimal and Grandmother. Here the red indicates the past tense, green indicates the present tense. A small question answer. Aesop fable. Here the yellow indicates the continuous tense and a small question answer. Activity based on these stories. Again a story. Activities. Story completing. Here also story completing. Let's see my notebook. Tales and Tunes Unit 2. Question answer of Vimal and Grandmother story. I have written my notebook as a very colorful way. Here Aesop Fables question answer. Activity based on these small stories. Proverbs and meaning. Correct answers of proverbs and meaning. Story and moral. 
tenses and opposites a story of fox and crow question answers Picture description A small story of pig and fox Few beginnings of stories Lion and mouse story I have done it as a pictorial way Thank you Thank you.